everybody, welcome to Make Your Day Count. I'm Lindsay Roberts and I am standing at the cross. Now I'll tell you what, isn't that a line? Isn't that a line? We can go to the cross. We can stand at the cross. We can stand at the foot of the cross. We can go anywhere we need to, touching the cross, reaching out to the cross. It doesn't matter what state you're in. It doesn't matter what city you're in. It doesn't matter what country you're in. We can go to the cross. We can stand at the cross and say, thank you, Jesus, because you said, because I live, you shall live also. We have a Bible right to live from the inside out. Jesus went to the cross from the outside in so that we could live the cross from the inside out. We could be saved, we could be healed, we could be delivered in every facet of our lives, in every aspect of our lives. And I'll tell you what, that's good news. You know, there's a there's a, a Bible verse that talks about good news, good news, good news. They even called the Bible one time, the good news. And I love the idea, the good news. The good news is this, Jesus went to the cross so you don't have to be crucified. Jesus went to the cross, so you don't have to be crucified. He said, because I live, you shall live also. And if you go ahead and take that word live and life and talk about the way Jesus talked about the God kind of life, the Zoe kind of life, it's not just <sighs> breathing, but it's a kind of life that is the life of God, the life in God, a life in Christ. And I pray for you today, right now, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, whatever it is you're going through, I pray for you physically, I pray for you financially, I pray for you spiritually. If you are not close to God, you realize the Bible says he's closer than the breath of your body. That's pretty close. And so we have a right to say, Jesus, okay, I've told you this on this program many times. I have a friend who was not saved, who was addicted to drugs. His family was a preaching family. His grandfather, a preaching family. And he was running from God. And his whole salvation prayer was, Jesus, Okay, immediately God turned his life around. And that's what I pray for you today. When it, when it comes to your physical body, say, Jesus, okay. When it comes to your, your, uh, your job, Jesus, okay. When it comes to not knowing direction, Jesus, okay. When it comes to your finances, Jesus, okay. Whatever it is that you have need of, I pray you say, Jesus, okay today. This cross is a result of a prophetic vision I had where Jesus literally stretched his hands out and he said, put it on the cross. Trust the work of the cross. Put it on the cross. Trust the work of the cross. So as you see behind me, we've been putting prayer requests. You, it kind of goes all the way around, so it's kind of hard to see. But we have uh, all kinds of prayer requests are kind of piled underneath there. And if you would like us to put your dreams, your hopes, I, when the Lord showed me this in this dream, he said, even your disappointments, put it on the cross. So your dreams, your prayers, your prayer requests, your physical healing prayer requests, whatever it is, maybe it's a family member. We don't need a whole lot of detail. Just send it to us. The way you send it to us is oralroberts.com slash the cross, oralroberts.com slash the cross. And we will be happy to put that here on the cross and expect, expect, expect a miracle with you. And I am praying for you right now from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet for a Jesus okay moment. For a Jesus, yes, Lord, yes and amen, okay more, a moment right now in every aspect of your life. Jordan, my daughter is coming to sing about the love of God. Greater love to me, greater love cannot ever be demonstrated than what Jesus did on the cross. And he's not going back to the cross again. The next time Jesus comes to this earth like that, it'll be to take his bride home. We are the body of Christ that makes us the bride of Christ. And he is coming as the bridegroom to take us home, to live eternally and abundantly with him forever and ever, amen. But until that day comes, we have a Bible right to live heaven on earth. Maybe the devil has tried to make your life hell on earth. He's a counterfeit. The Bible says he's a liar and the father of lies. But we can change that and we can say, no devil. The Bible says I can rebuke you and you must flee. Get thee behind me, Satan. You will not prevail. And when we get into that aspect, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. We get that because I live, you shall live also. And that's my prayer for you. For God so loved the world, John 3, 16, that he sent his only begotten son, Jesus, that whosoever would call upon him would be saved. And let me tell you the next part. Jesus did not come into this world to condemn the world. Wow, if you feel like I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy enough, I'm not this, I'm not that. I told you many times, I used to read a book to my daughters and, and part of the pages of it said, too beady, too bumpy, too leafy, too lumpy. 
Listen, God is not putting qualifiers on his love. His love, the Bible says, is unconditional. It's not too beady, too bumpy, too leafy, too lumpy. It's not something you did or didn't do. How bad you were. It's not qualified by your actions. The cross is not qualified by your actions. You've never done so much that you couldn't come to the cross. It's not about your actions. It's not about your perfection or lack thereof. It's about the greatest love we'll ever know, and that's the love of Jesus Christ when he laid down his life for us. It's about his holiness, not our perfection. All you have to do is say, Jesus, okay, and I believe your life will forever be transformed. If you want to give us your prayer request, oralroberts.com slash the cross, and let us put that on the cross. We'll be more than happy to do it. Right now, join me in welcoming my Jordan as she sings about the love of God. I want this book to be a game changer. I want it to be a life changer. Lindsay's brand new book, Discover Your True Worth, Becoming the Woman God Created You to Be, is now available to order. And I think in this book, it gives women tools to consider, to consider forgiveness, to consider what happens through bitterness or unforgiveness, tools to consider how to, um, truthfully, love yourself. The Bible says, love thy neighbor as you love love yourself. You may think there's no way God can use you, but Lindsay shows how his power is made perfect in your weakness, and it can help you be all that God has called you to be. 
discover your true worth is a discovery. It's steps, it's stages. There are tools that the Bible has given to us, and I like to convey those tools in everyday experiences. Lindsay has written this book to help you discover who you are in Christ and to show you ways to become the woman God created you to be. If you have something that is empty and you can fill it up and get you out of pain, to me the best guarantee that I can ever have for my life is to have Jesus fill that void. To request Lindsay's book, Discover Your True Worth, just go to oralroberts.com slash bookstore or call 1-844-828-1412. I'm excited about Lindsay's new book, Discover Your True Worth, Becoming the Woman God Created You to Be. Lindsay is an amazing author, speaker, communicator. I know this book will bless you and inspire you, so I hope you'll pick up a copy for you and a friend. Be blessed today. Faith, forgiveness, and going forward. We all need faith in our personal life. We all need forgiveness, but we also need to learn to go forward. This is what you're going to get from this great book. Lindsay Roberts is a dear friend, and she has written a book that will change our lives. A lot of faith, a lot of forgiveness, and how to go forward. You're going to love her story. Okay, I am so excited about a couple of things in my brand new book. I'm excited about the whole book, but I've got something I want to talk to you about today. Um, this is Discover Your True Worth. I hope you have your copy. If you don't, oralroberts.com or 844-828-1412. Oralroberts.com or 844-828-1412 to get your copy. This is Discover Your True Worth. Becoming a woman, God, the woman God created you to be. And I want to take you over to page 173, 173, your discovery guide. Now, the reason I want to talk about this is as you are looking, discovering, seeking, searching, you know, the word discover and discovery to me has no ending. It's not discovered. It's not past tense. It's not before. It's not too late, so to speak. If you're trying to discover your true worth or you want to live in the discovery guide, guiding yourself into all that God has for you, that's current. It could be a now word. It could be a future word. But I don't believe it has to be a past word because I don't believe we have to miss all that God has for us. So I want to read you a couple things. Something the Lord has been giving me that happened a couple of weeks ago. I sat down one time and I was praying for somebody and I was talking about what was happening on the outside. And I said, stir up your most holy faith, which is scriptural. And the Lord just quickened something to me. He said, I want you healed from the inside out. I said, yeah, Lord, I want to be healed from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet, inside, outside. He said, no. I thought, wow, I thought that was really good. I thought I was kind of on a roll right there. And he said, all that's fine. He said, I want you to start from the inside out. He said, people solve problems from the outside in. They see a problem. They attempt to solve the problem. They think of all the tools they have on the outside, and then they process it with logic and reason and thinking on the inside. Now, I've always done that. And I thought, yeah, that's a good, that's a good system. The Lord said, as a believer, I want you to do first from the inside out seek first one of the commentaries i read on that was seek first and foremost the kingdom of god and how he operates in the kingdom and when you do all a l l the things you have need of shall be added unto you see the kingdom of god the bible says is as a seed that must be sown god said he sent his son jesus thy kingdom come thy will be done on this earth equal to how it is in heaven you see if we don't start with the bible truth the bible promises the bible word the bible giftings the holy spirit that's on the inside if we look at it from the outside in and try to solve it for me I could get into such frustration. I could get into such confusion. Satan's the author of confusion. So when I look at those circumstances, confusion can be knocking at my door, pounding at my door, ringing my doorbell constantly. But when I operate from the inside out with the peace that surpasses all human understanding, 
then I can operate starting with that and looking at things from a fresh perspective. You know they say don't look at things through rose-colored glasses, or maybe you are supposed to look through rose-colored glasses. I never got that one. So why should I look at things through rose-colored glasses when I can look at things from a Bible perspective? which to me is the way to operate. Seek first and foremost the kingdom of God and how he operates in the kingdom. The kingdom of God is as a seed that must be planted. We've got to hide God's word in our heart, plant it in our heart so that when we have need of, it's already taken root. Out of the abundance of the heart, your mouth begins to speak. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. I've set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Choose life, the Bible says. So I want to give you a discovery guide, a little bit of a perhaps roadmap to show you what the Bible says from the inside out. Now, I made some notes. Um, from the inside out, Luke 12, 7, what is the value of your soul to God? Now, this is me writing it. I want you to recognize we don't have to worry. We don't have to hurry. We don't have to get frustrated. Why? Because God even sees when a sparrow falls. Now, I love birds. I, I, I have a bird feeder. In fact, my husband got a bird feeder for um, a, at, at Easter Sunday. My girls brought him over a bird feeder. Jordan's been planting roses in our yard, and we got this adorable bird feeder. And you know, God sees when a sparrow falls. How much more concerned is he about you? Discover means to find something or someone unexpectedly in the course of your search. True the real and actual worth. Again, if you don't have the book, 844-828-1412, 844-828-1412 for your best seed faith gift. I want you to get this book. What's my best gift? That is between you and Father God. Discover to find something or someone unexpectedly or in the course of a search. True, real or actual worth. Get ready. Deserving to be treated or regarded in the way specified. But here's the deal. If you don't know what the Bible says about you, if you don't know your true worth, and by that you'll see in the book that it's your worth in Jesus Christ when he went to the cross. If you don't know that and you're living in uh, contrary to the word of God, in opposition to the word of God, you want to know what's oppo opposite to the discover your true worth? Now listen to this. Opposite of discover is ignore, neglect, or overlook. Have you felt ignored, neglected, or overlooked? Have you ignored, neglected, or overlooked things about yourself? True. The opposite is incorrect. Maybe you're believing the incorrect lies of the devil. Maybe you don't know the Word of God. The Bible says you shall know the Word of God. You shall know the truth, and that truth makes you free. How can it make you free if you don't know it? So the opposite of true is incorrect. And your worth, what's the opposite of your true worth? Worthlessness, insignificance, or uselessness. You are not useless. You are not worthless, and you are not insignificant according to 66 books in the Bible, Genesis to Revelation. You are a child of God. You are of God, little children. Greater is he that's in you. That's why I want you to get this from the inside out. You'll hear junk and stuff and things and changes. My gracious sakes, if we built our whole, let's say our whole existence on mask or no mask, how many times did that change? If we built our whole worth on whether or not something is good for you or not, one minute, you know, a cheeseburger is horrible, the next minute meat's okay, and the next minute it's this, the next minute it's that. You know, if we built our whole worth from the outside in, what can happen is total misconception of who God says you are. God says that you are deserving to be treated or regarded in the way specified, and that way specified is with worth with value, with significance, and you are useful to God and to your family and even to yourself. All right, so if that's what the Bible says about discover your true worth, that's what, I, well, that's dictionary and Bible definitions. I did something in the back of the book, 173, it's called Discovery Guide. And I want you to read along, if you have yours, page 163, if you don't, 844-828-1412. I talked about you taking a look from the inside out 
to see what you believe God has called you to do. And what I want you to do is I want you to jump over to chapter four, and I want you to go to something called Bathsheba the Gossiped Girl. That's chapter four in the book, and it is page 181. Now, I want you to listen to this question. I want you to ponder it, and I want you to see it not from the outside in, not from worthlessness, not from no value, not from insignificance, but I want you to see it with the worth that Jesus paid for you when he went to the cross. I was at the cross earlier, right over there. I'm looking at it right now. And that should be the standard operation for your life, I believe. As a Christian, that cross should be the standard way of doing things. You know, they talk about money. Well, you might find currency in England, it's the pound. In the United States, it's the dollar. Um, in different countries I, I, that I've been in, I know there's, a, there's words like, um, I think it's ruples and naira and different things like that. When you look at those, everything is subject to change, but money is the medium of exchange for goods and services. Medium of exchange for goods and services. It has a definition, even though some of the stuff around it looks a little different per country. Your worth is the same according to the Bible, even if you do it differently, as I said in the book, unconventionally, from other people. I wanna ask you a question. Do you remember something someone said about you that really made you shine, have hope, or believe in yourself, and the question is this, if so, what is it? That's what I wanna to talk to you about right now. Do you remember something someone said about you that really made you shine, have hope, or believe in yourself? If so, what is it? I want you to focus right now on something that makes you smile, on someone that makes you smile, on someone that made you smile. Maybe it's a little tiny picture. I got a picture of a little newborn baby the other day, and it made me giggle. Now, people say, you know, that babies don't smile or giggle. This baby was giggling. Whatever made that giggle transpire, it was good enough for me. When that baby started giggling, I started giggling, and then I'd replay it, and then I'd replay it, and then I'd hit replay, because it made me smile. The Bible says whatever things are good and pure and lovely and of a good report, Think on these things. I wrote Discover Your True Worth because I want you to discover who you are from the inside out. I want you to know that the Bible says that you can find something or someone about yourself unexpectedly or in the course of a search that is real and actual, deserving to be treated or regarded in the way specified. Jesus said, you are of God, little children. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. I want you to do something today even if you can't even remember one thing somebody said about you that was good, then I want you to stop right now and say, I'm a child of God. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I'm made in His image. I'm a child of God. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I'm wonderful. I'm made in the image of God. If you start attacking yourself, then you're attacking the way God made you. But He said you're made in His image. You're fearfully and wonderfully made. You are of God, little children. And I want you to walk around today, even just whisper to yourself, even just under your breath, even just in your mind's imagination, I'm wonderful today. And I want you to begin to replant that into your spirit, into your soul, your mind, will, and emotions, and into your life that you are made in the image of God. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. You are, I've been saying this over and over. I believe the Bible lets us see who we are and you may just be worth more than you think. That's what I believe. That's why I wrote the book, Discover Your True Worth. Your worth is in what Jesus did when he went to the cross. And that is living from the inside out. That is processing everything you go through from the inside out. When you get up in the morning, when you're going through the day, when you're going to sleep, process from the inside out. Jesus says, I'm wonderful. Jesus says, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. God said, I'm made in the image of God. I'm made in the imagination of God himself. And Jesus went to the cross and laid out his life so we would have life and life more abundantly. For this purpose, the Son of God was made manifest to destroy the works of the devil. In this world, you'll have tribulation, but Jesus said, be of good cheer, I've overcome the world. 
from the inside out. That's my prayer for you. Again, if you have your book, that was chapter four on the Discovery Guide. And if you don't have your book, 844-828-1412, 844-828-1412 or oralroberts.com. Now stay tuned. I'm going to be back to pray for you. For any person who has ever suffered, if you're hurting, if you've been hurting, if you don't know a way out, the book is for you to find a compass that will point you to Jesus. Lindsay's brand new book, Discover Your True Worth, Becoming the Woman God Created You to Be, is now available to order. I walk people through what I consider to be God ideas of how to get from where you are and at least get on the path of discovery to discover that you really are valuable. You're created in God's image. You're made in the imagination of God. You're made in the image of Christ. You may think there's no way God can use you, but Lindsay shows how his power is made perfect in your weakness, and it can help you be all that God has called you to be. So if I can find a neutral ground that will bring something out in somebody to say, I can do that, I can fix that, I can become that, and I can be that encourager through this book. I'm on board for that. That's why I wrote it. To request Lindsay's book, Discover Your True Worth, just go to oralroberts.com slash bookstore or call 1-844-828-1412. Lindsay has written this book to help you discover who you are in Christ and to show you ways to become the woman God created you to be. You know, I wrote this book out of my heart, but I had someone say to me very, very recently, she felt like it filled a void. That may be the best explanation that I didn't even think of myself, but it's to fill a void. Richard and Lindsay Roberts have been our friends for many, many years, such great people. I'm excited about Lindsay's new book, Discover Your True Worth, Becoming the Woman God Created You to Be. Lindsay is an amazing author and speaker, communicator. I know this book will bless you and inspire you, so I hope you'll pick up a copy for you and a friend. Be blessed today. Don't forget, if you don't have your book, Discover Your True Worth, 844-828-1412, 844-828-1412, or oralroberts.com. I pray for you to discover who you are in Christ. I pray for you today from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. I pray for whatever it is that you're going through right now for God to heal you, to bless you, and to make you whole in every area of your life. In Jesus' name, amen. Make it count. <laughs>